in this video i'm gonna show you guys how you do the smooth zoom in transition and it's a lot easier than you think well the zoom transition first what you need to do is you need to find out two separate clips you can't do the smooth transition with one single clip well you can but it kind of defeats the purpose of having a transition so first you're going to need to find one clip that you like and you want to find a second clip that you want to go into yes they can have some kind of flow and you can zoom in from one clip to another clip with motion but for the sake of this video i'm just going to show you how you can turn two simple random clips that don't really have any kind of linear equation to it and just apply that transition so you can make your videos flow a lot better. First of how you actually use the smooth transition is that you need to apply an adjustment layer and the, the number six is very important. As you can see here within the timeline itself you need to understand that there are going to be two adjustment layers. First the bottom layer is going to be the mirror and the reflect and the second or the technically the first adjustment layer is going to have your transform layer and that is 12 keyframes so remember six keyframes on the bottom and 12 keyframes on top so what you're going to do is you're going to apply two separate clips or effects like i said your first effect being is going to be replicate and to replicate it three times next what you're gonna need to do is apply the mirror effect onto the first six keyframe adjustment layer. Yes, I know there's other tutorials that go into the details of the specific numbers and how you need to essentially mirror and get rid of those harsh lines, but I'm gonna show you the fast track of how you just do the zoom transition and also leave these numbers in the description and the comments below, but all you need to do is plug in these exact reflection centers and the reflection angles and you will be a lot faster than figuring it out on your own as you can see here the whole purpose of doing these mirrored angles is to get rid of the harsh line so then it gives more effect of a motion blur when you zoom in and you zoom out so as you can see here you just need to really match up the exact numbers with these reflections so that it removes the replication effect which you already applied so now you have a mirror where it seems like there's no harsh lines and is all one sort of like mirrored image that is the look that you're going for the top adjustment layer what you do is you want to use your transform tool you put the transform tool on your top layer and you want to uncheck use composition shutter angle and you want to bump your shutter angle all the way up to 360 the more higher it is the more blurrier and motion blur you're going to get and then all you need to do is click scale and then you go the very first keyframe the first and to the very last the 12th keyframe you are gonna need to understand it goes from 100 and then the very end of the keyframe is going to be 300 so it ramps up from 100 to 300 and now you can slowly start to see the smooth transition smooth zoom in transition start to take place as how you can zoom from 100 to 300 and still have it still within a scaled image is because you replicated it three times and it's mirrored so it gives you the effect of how it is a much more smoother transition from clip a to clip b now that you understand the smooth zoom in you can also do the smooth zoom out and all the smooth zoom out transition is is that instead of going from 100 to 300 scale you're going from 300 to 100 scale and the bottom mirrored let's call it the mirror adjustment layer that is just moved to the other side as you can see here in my timeline So now instead of a smooth zoom in, you have a smooth zoom out transition. And all I'm doing right here is I'm just readjusting and moving from a zoom out to a zoom in. And remember, zoom in is 100 scale to 300 scale. And zoom out is 300 to 100. And you just move the bottom replicated mirror adjustment layer to the very start of the clip of the next clip. And that is pretty much how you do the smooth zoom in and the smooth zoom out. So just to clarify things, because I know it does get complicated, but this is the fast track, is that 
you have two adjustments layer. The bottom adjustment layer is your mirrored layer and the top adjustment layer, which is 12 keyframes versus six keyframes on the bottom is the transform keyframe. And you can also pinpoint and make the zoom kind of more smoother is by you change the velocity. So you want, you want to go to where the velocity, where the exact cut in between the two cuts are. And you want to make the peak or a mountain right where the next clip begins. So right when you zoom into the split and it goes into the next clip, you want to be able to go into velocity, which is going to be right under scale. And you want to drag your adjustment layer on the top, just one keyframe over so you can adjust it. So you click both of your already pre-done keyframes, click it, and you click the other ones. And now you, what you're trying to do is you're trying to form a little mountain or a little peak right where the two clips cut. That will give your clip a much more smoother zoom in or zoom out. If it's a zoom out, then it's gonna be a little valley instead of a mountain. And as you can see now, once I adjust the adjustment layer, is a much more smoother and faster zoom in transition. And that guys, that is the simple zoom in transition. You see these for a lot of travel vloggers, a lot of YouTubers use this effect. And now you too can also use this effect and it's much more simpler than you think. Link is in the description of the step-by-step -step details because I know it can get confusing as well as the exact mirror angles and shutter angles instead of having you watch someone else do it those are the exact numbers that you plug and play and the next thing all you need to do is save the two different adjustment layers so the bottom just layer control a select all save that preset as zoom one and then you click the adjustment layer on top and save that preset as zoom two and there you have it so you don't have to keep doing the same thing over and over and now it's just a little drag and drop and you can smooth in and zoom out transition for any clip that you want. My name is Peter and that is how you do a smooth zoom out or zoom in transition and you're watching Broke Visionary Collective where we all start with nothing but you can always create something.